Greetings everyone, in this video I want to talk about your frequency and how your frequency must be a match to that thing that you are creating and how your frequency affects your experiences here within this game. Greetings! This infinite source truth is made possible by the generous contributions and support of viewers like you. Please consider making a contribution now. Thank you. All right, you cannot receive something that you are not a frequency match to. You can want it, but you will not receive it until you are a match to it. Now, this has to do with experiences, things, relationships, people, everything within your illusion is based on your frequency level, what you experience. Now, that goes for the information that you receive out of these videos. You only get what you're a frequency match to. You can be watching a video the first time through and you raise your frequency and you go back and you watch the same video again and you will hear things that you would say we're never in that video to start with. It's because it is a frequency level. You have raised your frequency and so therefore certain information is more of a frequency match to you and you will hear it and pick it up the next time through and the next time until you continue to raise your frequency. You get the information in your now that you are a frequency match to. Only what you were a frequency match to. Only what you are entitled to because of your frequency. Now, I know a lot of you want instant microwave. You want it now. You want that knowledge now. You're the only thing that's holding it back from you. It is your frequency. It's your frequency. And your intent. Some of you are even expecting to get the knowledge and revelation without doing the work. If you're still eating animals, if you're still drinking alcohol, if you're still consumed by sexual passions and desires, then how can you get higher frequency information? Because those things are, are low frequency. Drugs, low frequency. If you are involved in low frequency activities and mindsets, then how are you going to receive what you really want, which is the higher frequency experiences and knowledge? And having fear and worry totally out of your mind, thoughts and mind. There is no fear, there is no worry. You recognize that you are the powerful creative experience and you walk in it. Now, that could annoy some people because you know that you know and you won't be affected by them and their, well, for one thing, they're not even on the same frequency plane as you, so it really, it's rare to bump into those people. You see, because you're not a frequency match to them. You are above them. You really want to leave the lower frequency activities behind and raise your frequency. Now, can things happen overnight for you? Absolutely they can, but it takes a mindset change. And no, you're not going to go from level four frequency dimension to nine overnight, all right? That's gonna take at least one day per jump, if you could even accomplish that. It's not possible, because there is a plateau at each frequency level that holds you there to test you, to see if you really, really are entitled to move up a frequency dimensional range. It's at those times there are plateaus. It seems like nothing is working and nothing is, is happening as quickly as you, as you want it to. 
it can be frustrating and you don't know what's happening but I'm telling you that you have reached a plateau and the choices that you make at that time in your plateau whether you continue the journey or you fall back into your old habits and and go back to doing what you were doing that determines whether you advance or not now yes you're tested you are tested all the time you're tested and you're even tested once you reach okay you tested before you can advance and you're tested when you are at a frequency level to make sure that you still belong at that frequency level and that you don't need to go down now, some of you, your frequency bodies, now in order to raise a frequency, you have to join all your frequency bodies together and they all have to make that jump from one dimensional plane to another. But after you've made that move up, is it possible for those, those other bodies, you, you've got four of them that move around and they can fall out of that frequency dimensional plane to another one and now you're all out of harmony. You are not harmonized on any plane and you are outside of your empowerment and more than likely because you haven't harmonized your frequency bodies. They're not all together. They're not linked and united. They're on different dimensional frequency planes. They need to be on the same plane and in your now to have powerful intent, powerful creative abilities and to be centered in your now. That's when you reach your empowerment and your creative abilities. Now, obviously, the higher in frequency that you go and you can keep all your frequency bodies on that, then the more powerful you become because your synergy cell will also determine how high your frequency can rise because you have to have a certain level in your synergy cell before you can advance to the next level. Yes. And if you're an elite player, more is required of you. Yes, than a normal player because your synergy cell levels have to be higher. Now, I've gone into this in articles and videos for supporters. And if you've forgotten about it, then you need to go back and you need to reread them and look at them. But you, you are the only thing standing in the way of your success in unlocking your script, unlocking your soul cage. It's all you and the choices that you choose to make. Now, choices are neither right nor wrong. They're, e they're either beneficial or not, and it depends on what you want to attain to as to whether that choice is beneficial. Now. If you want to experience the higher frequencies and unlock your soul cage, then it's going to require disciplining your avatar so you don't give way to every little urge that it has, whether it's a sexual urge, stuffing food in the mouth urge, guzzling down alcohol or giving in to drugs urge, all these urges that your avatar is having, you have to take control over. That's non-negotiable. That's the way the game was set up. You agreed to that when you came in. And you knew about all of these obstacles when you entered. You know how when something is set before you, there's this thing inside of you that says you know that you're going to cross a line that you probably shouldn't to try something that maybe you'll try it but you're not real comfortable in it and I would imagine that has to do with drugs or alcohol or even sex to try things out. There's this thing inside of you that kind of tells you maybe this isn't such a good idea and you're maybe a little uncomfortable with it, but you go ahead and, and do it anyway. Now, you may or may not regret it after you do it, but it's that thing inside of you that tells you that maybe you shouldn't do this or maybe you shouldn't go down that street or maybe you shouldn't be hanging out with these people. 
that's the, that's the thing inside of you that you need to be paying more attention to. More attention to. You would do well to heed that little urging, that little nudge inside that's saying, maybe you don't want to do this. This game is really magnificent. We did an amazing job creating this experience for ourselves. And we continue to create experiences for ourselves. But there is a process that you must go through and make intentfully. You must choose to do it with your intent to raise your frequency. Once you raise your frequency, then the law of attraction for the beneficial things can start working for you. You will draw magnificent, wonderful things to yourself. Experiences and people and all of these things. But you have to choose to leave the lower frequency activities. You have to choose to leave them and not return to them. You have to use your intent. Because if you don't intend to, then they'll creep back into your experience. You, but that's a choice. In the very first video, I said, it's all free. It's absolutely free. But it could cost you everything. And it can cost you everything that you know and hold dear. You see, because once your frequency starts to rise, you have to make choices. You may not be able to stay in lower frequency relationships. You may have to sever those relationships and move out of them. You may have to move the area that you have always lived in and been comfortable in. You may have to leave your comfort zone in order to make the changes, the frequency shift within you that you need to make. You may lose children, you may lose spouses, you may lose parents, you may lose brothers and sisters and friends and peers, you may lose it all. You may lose your country of birth. You may lose your culture because there's something far better. Being alone is better than being with a bunch of people that are lower frequency people. And like I've said, as your frequency rises, the lower frequency people, they can't stand to be around you. They won't be around you. And you won't want to be around them. You really will not desire to be around them. You will prefer your own company than to be around those other people. And there's nothing wrong with that. Now, some of you have a hard time accepting yourself because you've had people speaking into your life. Programs, scripts, to bring you down, to keep you down, to not allow you to soar. You need to get rid of that old programming and those old tapes that are running in your subconscious and recognize that you are source and you are a powerful creator of your experience and you are not defined by what other people say about you or think of you, whether they appreciate you or not, whether they're your parents or your brothers and sisters, it matters not, they don't matter, it is you. Your journey, your choices. This goes for all relationships. All relationships. They're all choices. They either benefit you or they don't. And you have decisions that you have to make. Now, you always receive what you are a frequency match to. You can't get something that you are not a frequency match to. If you want higher frequency comprehension and knowledge, 
Well, that comes with higher frequency and you won't get it until you reach that frequency level. And whether you're watching these videos or you're looking for that information to be dropped into your mind or downloaded into your mind, yes, it's possible. You need to recognize that you have to be a frequency match to the information or you will not be given it. There's no shortcut, there's no cheating the system, there's no, no poof and you've got it all. You've got to make the choices. Choices, it's a path, it's a choice. You have to make the choices, the hard choices and bring your avatar in line. Bring your avatar in line and your emotions and get rid of the hate, anger, rage, dissatisfaction for any previous things that you thought were done wrong to you or people or even the matrix experience itself or what you perceive the matrix to be. You see, if you hate your experience here and you hate the matrix, well, you're a lower frequency and there you're just going to get more. If you love your experience here and you love life and love is a higher frequency, though not the highest frequency, as neutrality is the highest frequency, but love will get you, get you raised up and will help you, will definitely help you until you recognize the duality that is in this matrix and then you recognize the game for what it is and you start playing the game instead of the game playing you. So many source players, the game is playing them. They're not playing the game, they're just reacting. They're reacting to everything around them. They're reacting. They're feeding more energy into the matrix because the matrix is putting all these things into their awareness and they're reacting. And some are reacting, wow, not so beneficial, especially if they're in conspiracies and everybody's out to get them. Well, that's exactly what they're creating for themselves. They're in a lower frequency mindset. And that's not going to benefit them in the long run. That's really not where they want to be. That's, that's all I'm going to talk about in this video. You get the gist of this. You have to be the match to the information that you want to receive. If you're not, you'll not get it. They have a saying, when you're ready to hear it, the teacher will come. Well, when you are ready to hear it and you are a frequency match to it, the information will be made available and you will be aware of it. You will. And you'll recognize it for the truth that it is. Not until then. You have to make the choices to go down the right path, to make the hard choices, to bring your body into alignment. And your body will only reject and cry for a little while, saying, screaming that oh, it doesn't like the choices that you're making because it wants to party and have a good time and it wants this and it wants that. And when you tell it to toe the line and you have another plan, it might act like a little child for a little while and then it will give up because it recognizes that, well, you've really made this intent and you're going to succeed at it. That's part of the matrix. It's just going to give you a hard time for a little while and then it'll start behaving. And you will find things to be easier than you thought. Easier than you thought. Easier to give up the meat. Easier to give up alcohol, drugs, smoking. It's all easier to give up. Once you have made up in your mind and that you recognize that you are the powerful creator of your experience here and you don't let your avatar run your game, you step in and you run your game with your conscious intent to do so. And you deal with the subconscious that is creating all those non-beneficial behaviors to start with. Shadow work. You can do this. You really can. It's within your reach. It's just a choice away. And it's a continual choice to stay the path. And it is an uphill climb. The frequency ladder is an uphill climb. It is 
it is a climb. It is, you have to exercise some choices and some muscles to get to the top of the frequency planes. Say thank you via gift via PayPal. Links are in the description box below. Abundance, health, and prosperity to you.